All right, so we have successfully created our EC2 instance. And if you notice here on volume, and in this volume, it is automatically has connected eight gigabyte of volume, which is much enough for our testing purpose. So we have our EC2 instance running in place. Now one more thing we have to notice here, we have to also connect with this instance. All right. So the user ID for uh, this instance is going to be Ubuntu here. All right. So what I'm going to do here, uh, one more thing, uh, if you notice here, uh, the information which was uh, returned here, what we are going to get here. Uh, let me see. All right. So it returns here image ID, key name, and root device name, etc. Subnet, we need a public IP address. Do you see here? This is a private IP address. And we will be needing a public IP address to connect with this instance. Uh, this one is private IP address. All right. We don't have a public IP address because uh, at that time when we created it, it was a running instance. All right, so what we can do, we can describe here. All right, so I'm going to say here, EC2 describe instances all right there we have ec2 describe instances let's go ahead and run it then you should be able to see here the list of uh, instances which are running currently at uh, aws so this describe instances says that these are the uh, uh, this is the information of ec2 instance which is running and now we should be able to see here a public IP address because it is running. This one is a public IP address. We have got it and uh, now you can copy it, this public IP address. All right, and uh, do we see here somewhere user? Perhaps uh, we should see here somewhere user. So user, we will be using the user name to log in our Ubuntu server. It's an Amazon Ubuntu server. All right. By default in Amazon, it is a, in Amazon, it, it, it's always Ubuntu. All right. It's not there. So anyway, uh, and if you remember, we have our, we have our uh, profile here. So this is a PAM file. And this PM file we will be using to connect with our instance. Let's go ahead and create here a new tab so that I can connect with the instance. So what is the way to connect with instance? Simply we are going to connect with SSH minus I and then the keep name. So we have uh, the key name is KGP talkie dot PEM. Thereafter there is a space and there is Ubuntu, that's the username, and then the public IP address. All right, sorry, this is seven. So this is public IP address. Let's go ahead and run it. Now it will ask me to save this fingerprint. I'll say yes, and it has added. Now we, it says that Permission denied, public key. All right. So it says that permission is denied, perhaps because of the CH mod, CH mod 400. All right. Once again, it says that uh, permission is denied. Uh, let me see why this is happening. So what we can do, uh, we can also try it from here. 
uh, and we will first verify that all right don't worry about that so yes it says that uh, this is the process which we are doing thereafter all right so it's its user name is this one ec2 user all right that is the user name for this instance let's go ahead and try it with that one is it gonna work we have to wait for a while and yes congratulations now we are inside amazon linux amazon linux ami and uh, whatever you want to do inside this one you can definitely do all right so this is ubuntu and uh, in this machine if you want to run any application you can do so now you have seen how we can create aws ec2 instance with the help of aws cli congratulations i'll see you next lesson